Hey, how's it going, sexy few lines? My name is MCIK or Mike Hadaskio. Welcome everybody back to another video. The topic of discussion today: rest in peace, Draco. As you guys are obviously aware already, Draco has been removed in the most recent update, Spectres of the Rail, update 19, part 2. And oh my god, a lot of people were pissed off about how they took out Draco. And if you guys didn't know, I'll inform you guys. Draco now is a survival levels 15 to 17 Grenier. They've taken the levels down on Ceres and they've removed the interception on Draco. So now it's just a survival low level enemies. And you're probably saying, fuck this. I'm uninstalling Warframe. Screw this. It's not worth it. Goodbye. And some of you are asking me, and I've seen a lot of comments about this, saying, okay, Cole, where is the best new place to farm XP fast? Where is the new Draco? Where can we go to farm XP really fast? After I'm done putting form on my weapon or Warframe, where can I go level this stuff up fast and just get it done with? And if you're asking this question, I don't want to step in any toes, but if you honestly, guys, if you're asking this question, I don't think you understand the reason why they took out Draco. DE, a while ago, saw that people were abusing Draco. Now, before I go into this, I'm going to hear a lot of controversy on two separate sides. People saying that this is complete bullshit and people actually saying there is some truth behind it. DE saw that they were abusing Draco as just a simple place to XP farm. Because in the end, the original attention of leveling weapons up was so you could just go into any mission, play any mission, and while you play the game, you level up. They didn't like the idea that they were abusing one mission and going on it constantly and leveling their weapons up because they weren't getting the full experience of the game. They were playing one mission, leveling all their stuff up, and, and ignoring the rest of the game. They would get their high level stuff and then take it into T4, defenses and survivals. The reason the DE did this, they wanted people to start enjoying the game more and playing it more. They didn't want tons of people just sitting around in one place, spamming Excalibur, Exalted Blade, and Trinity's Energy Vampire all the time. I remember back in the old days whenever we wanted to go on XP grinding, a good place to go on, and honestly you could still do this if you wanted to, a good place to go on would be an Aroken Derelict Defense. That gives you a lot of XP, it's high level enemies infested. Hell man, if you bring a Nova and you put a Voban in there, you got a fucking amazing farm going on. That's the whole idea behind this. The DE wants you guys to be creative and come up with something unique to get XP. They don't want you to sit around like a sack of potatoes fucking farming the same mission over and over again. because. It's like, imagine if someone made a beautiful masterpiece, just beautiful, and everyone was admiring the very, 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 very small top right corner of it. There's a bird at the top right corner. They're admiring the bird in the picture at the very, very top right corner of, the, of this beautiful masterpiece. That's what this is for DE. DE made this beautiful game, Warframe, and people are just sitting on Draco and getting the XP that way, and they don't want to explore the rest of the game. They don't want to... They don't dare to go on any other missions because, you know, of course, I get that. You have low-level items. You don't want to go on level. You don't want to go on high-level missions to level up. But that's honestly what was intended from the very start with Warframe. It's challenging, but the more you play it, the better you get. Like I said, guys, people are always asking me, what's the new Draco? And if you honestly want a fucking new Draco, there are still plenty of high-level missions to go on, and loads of high-level planets that you can just go on all the missions and do endless modes. We got Europa, you got Sedna, those are from 38 to 40s. You also got Pluto, those are level 38 to 40s as well. And if you guys want a really easy way of farming, honestly, if you don't want to go against Corpus or Grenier, they have dark sector defenses and survivals for a reason. Or fuck it, just go on a survival on Eris. I was reading a forums post a little bit ago and some people were saying a certain mission on Eris is really good to run at Akad, Akadad, Akad. I don't know exactly what that is, but I believe that's a defense on Eris. So, you know, the possibilities are endless. It's like a new scratch. You start from scratch. You guys can go out and be pioneers and go find your new Draco, if you really want to call it that. Go explore the system. That's what the whole point of this is. I mean, at first it's going to suck because not a lot of people are going to know if this is going to be a good place to farm. People might drop out. They might not stay longer than five waves. They might drop out. But get some friends. Try it out. Put your foot in the water a little bit and see how it goes. Oh man, alright guys, this is a little bit of a rant, but uh, I've been meaning to talk about this for a while because people are asking me about the new Draco and where do I farm XP now. Honestly guys, anywhere. You guys can go anywhere. I right, suggested a couple things, but that's just from my personal opinion. If you guys want to do that, that's up to you. Go have fun. Play the game like it was intended to be. Just enjoy the game. Now I might get a lot of hate on this video, I might not. This is just my personal opinion guys. Chill the fuck out, okay? <laughs> I know a lot of people still hate the idea of Draco being taken out completely, and that's understandable. 
something that we loved and it was easy to do and it was kind of like a gimp hell it was a gimp for all of us sometimes you just gotta tear that off and grow on yourself you can't rely on shit like that but yeah guys that's just my opinion hopefully you guys this is not even like an enjoyable video this is just me talking about this i just want to let you guys know how i felt about this change i'm not totally for it but i like the direction that de went with this it's a good start it's a rough start but it's a good start anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video this has been ridiculous rants i think this is going to be an ridiculous rants um i don't know part four i don't really do ridiculous rants a lot because i hate ranting about stuff unless i really need to and this i think this is definitely a rant but i hope you guys enjoyed watching it anyway thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel subscribe to it to join the feline pack and uh leave in the comments down below something else you guys want to do for warframe for tomorrow's video i'll see what i can do what do you guys think leave your comments down below i, I want to hear what you guys think i go through your guys's comments every day and check out what you guys have to say about you know updates or about how the video was or just anything so leave your comments i'd really like to see what you guys have to say about all this hope you guys have an awesome day stay sexy stay cool see you guys for tomorrow's video for sure and thank you so so much for watching okay now before i end this video off i want to give a big shout out to my brother drew if you guys didn't know he's in a band and he just actually released his new single stare if you guys haven't listened to it definitely check it out I made a promo for his song. It's an amazing song. It was very well made. They've been working on it for a while, so I just wanted to kind of get the word out there for him. It would really mean the world to him and, and the world to me if you guys checked it out. I mean, it's free. There's a free download at Bandcamp if you want. It's over on Spotify. I'll leave the links down in the description below. Their name is called Baseline. The band name is called Baseline with a period. Check them out, guys. They're not too big yet, but uh, it would really mean the world to them if they check it out. They got really good music, and the new song, Stare, is phenomenal. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. Stay sexy, and peace out.